What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be another Nightmare on Elm Street video here today. A quick video that is following up on last night's video about Blumhouse supposedly gaining the rights to, during this bidding war that's allegedly going on for Nightmare on Elm Street and the rights to make the next bit of movies that we hopefully have on the way very, very, very soon. So earlier this year in May, KDM, who has a lot of following for their credibility when it comes to the stuff they drop over on their twitter page put out that several different companies were bidding for the rights to nightmare on elm street although no one was successful at the time that was in may i did let you guys know that as late as december of last year i've been hearing stuff regarding what is going on behind the scenes with the nightmare on elm street series and the rights that surround it also last year a news bit came out from puck stating that New Line was actually negotiating to retain the rights because they were about to lose the rights to the franchise. But then May of this year was when we got that extra bit of news from KDM that alleged that there is a bidding war happening and that Paramount is involved. This didn't come from KDM, but Paramount allegedly is involved. Uh, Blumhouse allegedly is involved. And I would have to assume these other possible studios are involved, like Spyglass, New Line Cinema, obviously, because they are attached to Warner Brothers Discovery. So there's something going on in terms of people being very eager to get their hands on what could possibly happen next for Freddy Krueger. But today, Big Screen Leaks cleared up some stuff. And I would argue, of course, that Big Screen Leaks is way more credible than the V-Scooper, way more credible than someone like me. Big Screen Leaks put out that first and foremost... In their, in their article, we have been told that Wes Craven's estate still has the rights locked in, which Bloody Disgusting first reported. Bloody Disgusting did indeed report that four years ago, if you remember. Up until last year, New Line Cinema was the only studio who would have any form of access to said rights to the franchise. One Take News has heard from multiple sources that Jason Blum has been advocating to get the rights. He's let it be known himself. He seems to be very confident, in fact, that if he were to get the rights, that he'll be able to convince Robert to come back because he convinced Ellen Burstyn to come back and he convinced Jamie Lee Curtis to come back. But whatever. But they go on to say that, again, Jason Blum has been advocating to get the rights and has been trying to convince the Craven estate for quite a while now. Last year, poor report from the puck, like I referenced earlier, it was revealed that New Line, who's released every film in the franchise, was negotiating to maintain the domestic rights to the franchise as well as future films, as well as develop future films. As of now, it's unknown what came of that. Now, here's where it gets complicated, according to this article, is what they're stating. There have been rumors, like I've referenced earlier in the video, there have been rumors of the Craven Estate finally giving in and that a bidding war secretly took place amongst the studios for the rights to Elm Street in the last month or two. We at One Take News have only heard of these rumors and haven't been able to corroborate it at the time of this writing. The rumor states Blumhouse won the rights to Elm Street and that they'd be developing a new film. So what does this all mean? They go on to say, well, we hate to be the bearer of bad news, but One Take News has heard that at the time of this article, Blumhouse is not developing a new Elm Street project and that the rights do not belong to them. However, we have heard whispers of New Line regaining the rights, but we have not confirmed this. We reached out to New Line for comment on the matter and will update its article if they respond. So that is where we're currently standing at in terms of the rights Blumhouse a sigh of relief for me and a lot of you who listened to my video last night it would appear that that rumor has no truth to it right now that scoop from the V scooper doesn't seem to have any weight and the V scooper again that isn't somebody who I would say you should write off go look at their profile the V scooper has been right on more than one occasion in the past their tweets speak for themselves everyone again can be right or wrong at any point in time but big screen leaks definitely more credible has a lot more knowledge on these type of things. So I'm going to stick with what Big Screen Leaks is reporting right now from their One Take News article site or from their One Take article from their site. So in terms of what I had told you, I heard my bit about what I had heard from an alleged person who was saying they're involved with this bid is that if they were to get the rights, if their company got the rights, you would be getting a modern take on Freddy's Revenge. You'd have a male lead. They would work to have a female director. Robert and Heather would be offered roles. Robert would be involved in the replacing process of Freddy Krueger because they would not have Robert back as Krueger. And Freddy would have a gloved arm as opposed to a gloved 
gloved hand. That's as much as I have been told specifically in terms of what that company would do. I don't know who that studio is, but I do know that they have referenced them being in the bid with Blumhouse and other competitors. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification and numbers video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, if there's any movies, news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.